if you only knew the power of the dark side. Bo Feng, Bao Fang, however you want to say it. <laughs> Let's not get in an argument about it. Bao Fang UV5R Mini. Two meter, 70 centimeter ham radio transceiver, which you do need a license to transmit on. You can listen, but you can't transmit. Equally can be used straight out of the box as a dark side PMR radio. I'll get onto that in a moment if you're new to the channel. I'll briefly explain that. UV5R, yeah, when, when you think of that, you think of the old UV5R radio, an absolute classic. This was sold by the hundreds and thousands. I think they've just cashed in on that magic number because this resembles nothing like the classic radio in name only. Now then, when I say dark side, what I mean is it's a non-type approved radio that can be used on the public band, the PMR band in the UK. Cannot be used legally in the UK. If you wanna be 100% legal, you need a dedicated PMR radio. Advantages of using a non-standard radio is the output of the radio is much higher. It is um, claimed to be five watts on around 446. Standard legal is half a watt. Also, the antenna is just a little bit longer, although to be honest with you, not a lot, not a lot longer, but can be unscrewed and you can replace this with a longer antenna, which will give you a greater range. But it is non-type approved. You do run a very slight risk of maybe having the radio confiscated potentially prosecuted. I don't know anyone that that has happened to, but just bear that in mind. First thing about this radio is it's quite novel and that is the size. It is called the Mini. The smallest dark side radio that I've tested before is this TID radio. And this one, as you can see, is just that little bit smaller. Not a lot really when you look at it, but uh, certainly is the, probably the smallest dark side radio that I've currently tested. The specs on this, and bearing in mind I'm not uh, a ham radio operator, so we're not gonna be interested so much in the specs. But as I say, the specs, maximum power output, five watts, um, half power output, two watts. We have an FM radio, 65 to 108 on the FM. Also claims to cover the AM airband. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I've not had great success, other than the Quangshangs, which I thought did okay. I've not had great success on the airband on these. I'll try and um, cover that in the review later. More importantly, it's uh, transmit. It will transmit from 400 to 480, so it comfortably fits into the 446 megahertz, which is our PMR frequencies, and that includes the antenna. So it should be on tune, which means also the uh, harmonics should be quite good and again i'll test those at the end of the video best thing about it though at the moment is the value the price currently on banggood this is selling for 35 dollars which is 26 pounds 50 that's for two radios so that makes it a very good option for a pair of dark side pmrs let's get it on the bench and have a quick closer look so have a very quick look what we get in the box. I know this isn't the most popular part of the video, but we do need to see what we get. Owner's manual, if you're really gonna need that, I don't suppose you will if you've had these radios before. More importantly is the two QR codes there, one for Android, one for iOS. More and more people now are using their phone via Bluetooth, which the radio supports to program the radio. The radio does have a Kenwood K1 mic input there so you can use a programming cable that is not provided in the box i doubt if this radio is currently supported by chirp it might be in the future if you want to use a pc most people nowadays are bluetoothing it on their phone that's the way forward what else have we got a couple of neck yet lanyards okay that might be quite useful a belt clip yeah done like that Plastic, plastic connector there, metal sprung. Yeah, bit cheaper, nasty. Everything is built at a price, unfortunately. USB-C 
charging straight into the back of the battery no power brick provided wouldn't expect it at this price second lanyard second cheap pass belt clip don't like that mini mini antenna again it fits the uh, fits the radio you can always extend this if you want to get that little bit extra range Oh, we do get, okay, fair news, we get a second USB charge lead, so you can charge both at the same time. Second radio itself, um, yeah, build quality. It actually feels okay, to be perfectly honest. Bernie Money is about 12 or 13 pounds each. We'll have a closer look at the radio in the moment. And then we get a second uh, battery, 1600 mAh. Feels, feels about right for the weight. It feels genuine, up to 36 hours standby, is what they claim. Right, let's have a look at the radio. Straight out of the box, bearing in mind this is, what, £13 radio. Overall ABS construction of the body is pretty good. It is pretty good. It does feel quite solid. It doesn't feel particularly cheap. Now, I've gone for this Dayglow yellowy green colour. It's probably not your taste. There are more subtle colours. There's black and there's quite a nice silver. Yeah, I, I like it because it, it, it stands out keypad on the radio uh, yeah keys are quite small of course as you would expect the secondary functions which are in blue and they are illuminated which is nice to see but they're not particularly intuitive as you might be hopefully you can see there it just says a b c d e f etc on the original uv5r the secondary functions did portray their options for example transmit power wide narrow step rate that seems to be a trend on these radios. Um, I don't know if it's to account for digital because this radio is only analog, but uh, again, I think that's uh, a bit of a step back from the original radio. Now then, although the build quality, the construction is good on the radio, there was a slight issue, or there is a slight issue, and that is with the on-off, the on-off pot here. When you turn it up for the volume, it gets about halfway, and then there's what I would describe a gritty section. There's a resistance as if something isn't quite right internally with this uh, pot. Now it only affects this handset, the other handset in the box I've tested, and that is perfectly smooth and linear. I'm a little bit concerned about the longevity of this um, pot before it becomes scratchy. At the moment it's working absolutely fine, but it doesn't feel very nice. So just bear that in mind, you know, everything is built to a price and you are you are buying a uh, cheap radio. Looking on the side of the radio, we've got A and B, transmit uh, PTT buttons that seems to be a trend nowadays that corresponds obviously to the display of the radio we do have dual VFO displays you can see the active display is slightly brighter and the deactive display is shaded out in grey when you press the corresponding VFO they change over if you want to change them manually you've got the usual A and B selector there also, as always, the V and M, which is the VFO channel mode. and memory function called frequency mode. channel mode. So on frequency mode, I've typed in a PMR channel. Now, one thing I like about this radio is they've kept the menu system quite simple because some of these can be very, very daunting. Menu. This seems to be sort of becoming generic on uh, Beofang radios now. I think I saw it on another radio. But everything is laid out in a, a very logical order. So, for example, if we want to go to the settings on the radio, once we get into there, then everything is broken down. It says you're having 50 or 60 options, which can be very, very overwhelming when you get the radio. So, yeah, no problem with this menu system. Very, very easy to understand. Now, of course, if we go back... You can program the radio without any computer or without downloading an app on your phone. Set your frequency, set your transmit power. You can then choose if you want to use any CTCS semi-privacy codes. Just remember guys, they're not fully private. So you've only got a program in 16 channels. So honestly, I think a lot of you might just be sit down for five minutes for a cup of coffee and do it the old fashioned way manually little button there that's lighting up blue switches on the led torch i'm actually quite impressed because with the original radio we had the led torch this um this torch has been 
oh, it flashes as well. There might be an alarm function. I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. But the torch has been deleted on a lot of radios, and that's because um, they have satellite locations and they need to have the satellite antenna in it. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased actually to see that on the radio, quite useful. This side of the radio, uh, nothing going on other than we do have the Kenwood K1 programming port. If you're old school, you've got a programming cable and you want to do it on a computer, there is free programming software on the Biofang uh, website. And I did check, currently not supported on Chirp, but I imagine it'll only be a few weeks before this does become Chirp compatible. I think that covers everything you're gonna to need to know using this as a dark side PMR. Obviously, if you're a ham radio operator, would you, would you be looking at 12 pounds radio? Does the ham people really look at 12 pound radios? I don't know. But obviously there's a lot more settings in there for setting up duplex and repeaters and everything else, which you'd probably be interested in. Anyway, right, let's, um, let's test it. Obviously PMR, short, small antenna, short range, not gonna get massive range out of it in a built up area, but let's, let's test it and see what the speaker sounds like. Not that far from the QTH, possibly just under a mile. These are only short range communicators. More interested in the audio quality, whether there's any distortion, any breakup in the transmission. Should make it no problem. Let's give it a go. Audio check, one, two, one, two, three, four. Audio check. Audio check. One, two, one, two, three, four. Audio check on the Biofang Mini UV5R. Mary had its little lamb. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. It's going to test the built-in FM radio. We do get a lot of interference up here with the lights and everything. So in a way, it's quite a good test. Times, places, heights, lengths. Orders bound up in Baudelaire, Hugo and Berlin. The poetry removed to make room for more urgent meaning. That's not all that good, really. I'll bring in the original UV5R. Let's have a listen to see how that does. Must be translated and received. So that the war could continue. And it did. It had to. A matter of survival for us all. But I refuse to be taught how to kill. Yeah, so it's not all that impressive. Kill me if they were so inclined. A theatrical. Loved too much, or at least too much the wrong way. Everybody knew what that meant. Yes, there was a war. Yes, I think I was on the right side. But it never seemed like my side particularly wanted me. Fluent in French law. Until someone who knew me had the kind thought of introducing me to Morris. Now that is what I call a gentleman. Do it all But isn't that the point? Who would want to? All hint of glamour and femininity gone. I know better than anyone that Paris has always led the way, but the mistakes the girls make today is trying to look like the boys at the Rive Gauche. So, yeah, I can't say that I'm altogether that impressed with the FM radio, to be perfectly honest. I think the, uh, the older radio absolutely trumps it. So maybe not a radio you're going to buy to listen to the broadcast band. Here's the harmonics test then on 446 PMR. And the radio has done okay, it's pretty clean. I thought it would be because it's designed to use on 462, the American public band. But here's your first fundamental signal. And as you will remember on other videos, we need four clear squares there to pass a test. And we're well, well above that. In fact, even going to the seventh harmonic there 
that's what's, what is that over over five five and a half squares so yeah it's a pretty clean radio actually compared to some of the ones we've tested recently and i would say that's safe to use on 446 uv 5r mini then conclusions what do we think well i think the first thing I don't think they should have called it the UV5R because I'm a bit old school and I think of the original UV5R. And I'll, I'll be honest, overall, the original is a better performing radio. But in fairness, this costs twice the price of the Mini. So maybe that's not a good comparison. I think if you're just looking for a pair of dark side PMR radios that have got a decent output, I think these work really, really well. The speaker in the radio is especially loud and it's, um, it's especially clear. I was quite surprised how well it sounded for such a small radio. So much better than those tinny little uh, Quangshangs that we used to test. Of course, at this price point, there are a few things you have to get your head around. Firstly, the FM radio didn't perform very well up in the shack. It probably is okay if you're outside and, you know, and you've got no interference, but it's obviously susceptible to interference. It was nowhere as good as the original one. And then quality issues, although the radio works absolutely fine, did have that rather rough feeling pot on this particular radio. So you have to bear in mind we are right at the bottom of the price point. And I think that's the final word is the price because... $35, £26.50, and that's without any sale discounts or my discounts. It's good value, isn't it? Just over £13 for a pair of dark side walkie talkies. So, yeah, can't beat it on value. If you're interested in this radio, there is a link in the description. These came in from Banggood. I do get a discount code, which will be in the description. I do apologise if you're not in the UK, if you're in America or Canada, because it may not work in your country. I've got no control over that. If you're in the UK, then my discount should knock the postage off, so uh, bring the price down a little bit. And that's the end of the video. As always, thumbs up from me. I do appreciate you dropping by. If you get a second, and if you'd like to, please return me the thumbs up down below. I'd like to see that. If you don't, that's not a problem. And of course, I'll catch you on the next video. So stay safe. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed with his trusty CB. He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.